You know, Craig, we hear all the time about the COVID-19 numbers and the statistics and the graphs, but there are faces and families behind it all, and we are working to share their stories with you. One of those faces, 73-year-old Kay Parker. Take a look. Miss Parker was a beloved part of her community in Dardanelles. She lived alone and she helped at local nursing homes with administration. In fact, she spent her entire working life helping out at nursing homes in whatever capacity they needed. She was adored by everyone she knew. Her brother-in-law was the former police chief there in Dardanelle, and she had a daughter and one grandchild who tell me they still can't believe she had this virus. Kay became sick with a fever and body aches earlier this month. She stayed home, but she got worse, and so she was taken to Conway Regional Medical Center. She died there June 19th. Her daughter, Sammy, wasn't able to see her, and the last time she spoke to her mom was by phone just before her mother was placed on a ventilator. In fact, Kay's last words were, tell everybody I love them. Sammy agreed to share these photos with everyone, saying, for people who think this will never happen to them, it can. You know, her mom stayed in. She wore masks. She allowed others to grocery shop for her. And there wasn't an outbreak at the Dardanelle Nursing and Rehab where she had been working. They don't know where she got it. But out of respect for Kay Parker and all others, this family urges people to please wear a face covering and keep distance. It is still a shock, her daughter says. In fact, words can't describe, she tells me, how I feel. Our thoughts and prayers are with Kay Parker's family and the family of everyone touched by COVID-19 here in the state of Arkansas. Craig.